So we're uh, two weeks into the cider making process and uh, our ferment fermentation is uh, slowed down quite a lot. If you look, the temperature reading is 20 on my little LCD temperature gauge, so it's cooled a little and everything has slowed. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clear the cider. So there's a clever way to do it. There's this stuff called Vin Clear from Matt Harris. You buy it online. Um, enough to treat 16 gallons. I'm using just about 75 ml um, for my five gallons. And it's basically um, a clever little mixture of icing glass. And there's a little bit of citric acid in there. Um, basically, you can see the instructions. So it's really silly. I'll hold that there clearly for you. Um, and basically, all we do is water, ice, and glass, citric acid, and a preservative. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of cider out into this glass. I'm going to mix the icing glass and I'm going to gently stir it through into my mixture. And that will cause flocculation, which will drop out any little bits and pieces into the bottom of the tank. So been in there two weeks now you can see it's all calmed down it's very still there's still a little bit of bubbles coming through uh, we're not going to stop the fermentation exactly what I'm trying to do is clear it so when I draw off the cider into a new vessel I'm going to take through just a little touch of the yeast with it so I'm not trying to get rid of all the yeast I'm just trying to get a nice clear solution and it just helps you out so we're going to put about half a pint's worth there. I mean, that's not a bad colour, but we can we can get it looking pretty clear. So, side it down there, icing glass, pour through, in it goes. There we go. What I'll probably do is just and our clever little clever little tip is if we then pour just a little bit back in probably spill it there. Nope, just managed it. A little bit back in, give it a swirl. So it's all chemistry this, chemistry skills. So we rinsed it through. Okay, we've now got a little solution of the two together. So we'll just give it a bit of a stir around. Okay, because like I said, it will cause the flocculation. It'll be interesting actually. More than likely, just on our solution now, it will start to maybe cause a little bit of flocculation there. Anyway, we'll give it a go. So let's pour in. So, very gently, let's pour in. Now, we're not looking to stir it round a vast amount. We're just going to stir it round to spread that through, just gently. And obviously slowly it'll settle, it'll take about three or four days and you'll see the results. It'll either go crystal clear or we might have to give it a go again. Last time I did it with a pear cider, uh, sorry, a pear wine, kind of like cider, but a bit better. Um, the pear wine absolutely went crystal clear within a few days. So that is cider making. We're going to try and cause flocculation with a, a wine fining to drop out all the nasty little bits to the bottom before we take it off to tap it off for its first racking. Join us again on the next video.